Well, good hump day to ya. It's Dan. I want to welcome you to my home in the sticks. Hope everybody's having a show enough good Wednesday. But I'm here to tell you, here in East Central Mississippi, we had to move video production inside because it's finna come a flood over him. Before we get started on this video, I always like to mention that if you are new to the channel, we want to welcome you. And if you're returning just to see what old Dan's got going on over her, I show sure enough thank you for coming back. But what I want to share with you and y'all today is Lord of mercy. We're going to make some hot and spicy pickled green maters. I'll take y'all along with me. Give me a second, and that's what we finna do. Dan, what are you doing now over there at the Home in the Sticks? Well, I'm here to tell you, I pretty much our tomato season over here is done. So Skyler and I went looking around, and, and to be honest with you, I was going to pull all our maters up, but I seen a whole bunch of green maters, and I was like, dang, they too small to make fried green maters. Well, what about making some pickled green maters? I've done this in the past several years ago. I'm here to tell you, folks will line up to get slapped on this because it's some show enough good eating and it's real easy to make. And we're going to do that uh, with water, the water bath technique. Now, up front, I'm here to tell you, I'm not a canologist nor am I a water bathologist. I'm just an old boy that likes pickled green maters. So let me show you the maters that we're going to pickle and we're going to rock on with what we use for a brine, and it's a simple brine, and we'll show you the spice mixture. So what we have here is just a bunch of green maters. And when I say green maters, I had a bunch of just some yellow pear maters that I picked green, and we just have some regular, these are yellow toms that I picked green. And we had, I don't know, I'm gonna say this is probably about maybe two pounds of green maters. All I'm doing is I'm taking these maters, I'm cutting the tops off of them and I'm just going to split this into quarters, kind of like that. And on these pad tomatoes, all I'm going to do is cut those directly in half. Here's our spice mixture. And what this consists of is two teaspoons of black peppercorns, two teaspoons of mustard seed, and this is brown mustard seed, one teaspoon of fennel and one teaspoon of crushed red pepper flake. And what I'm gonna tell you is we could not find any coriander seed, so you can substitute fennel seed for coriander and you can also substitute uh, cumin seed for coriander. This recipe calls for Sichuan peppercorns. Let me show you what we substituted that with. We're gonna substitute that with some long red cayenne and also to the mix we're going to add in some onion and that is white onion and we also going to use some fresh garlic as far as the brine the brine is real simple we doubled this recipe so we actually using two cups of vinegar two cups of distilled water we're not using the uh, county water we're using distilled water and two tablespoons of kosher salt i wanted to try this with uh pickling salt but it calls for kosher salt, so that's what we're going to use. Here is our brine. We've already brought this to a boil, and right next to it is our water bath setup. It's boiling right now and hot. That's good. Let's go on and get uh, these jars packed up with our maters and our uh, seasonings. From my research and from what I understand, we're using quart-sized ball mason jars. You do not need to sterilize these jars. The reason why is we are putting them in a water bath for 15 minutes. Anything under 15 minutes, or let's just say if you a water bath, you're putting your, your jars in in a water bath for under 10 minutes, you have to sterilize these jars. But since we're running uh, a 15 minute water bath, we don't need to sterilize these. And the lids and the uh, rings, we're not warming those up either. According to my research from 2015 and on, it's not necessary to uh, warm up your lids and warm up your bands. So we're not going to do that, any of that. But give me a second. We're going to get set up. We're going to get these jars filled up. We're going to get them in that water bath. 
All right, so all we're gonna do is we're just gonna put probably about a tablespoon of the pickling spices into each one of these jars, maybe a little bit more in that one. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Cause I'm kind of thinking that uh, this is gonna make tomatoes, the tomatoes that we have is gonna make probably two quart size jars. I don't know, we're just gonna roll with it. Now we're gonna start adding uh, some of our green maters in there. We're gonna add a little bit of garlic. We're gonna add some onion in there. And we're gonna pack this in as tight as we possibly can. I'm gonna take a couple of these long red cayennes. We're gonna throw those in there. So that's what it's gonna look like. Give me a second, we're gonna fill up the other jar and then we're gonna rock on from there. All right, we ended up with three quart size jars of our green maters. And I am here to tell you, they're looking mighty good. What we're gonna start doing now is we're gonna start ladling this brine into these jars. And we're gonna leave probably about a half inch of, whoop, let me get my thing, my jig. We're gonna leave about a half inch of head space, hopefully. What I'm gonna do now is I have just a napkin with some white vinegar on it. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wipe these lids off or wipe the rims. All right, here's our lids and our rings. We're just gonna set the lid on there. I'm gonna put the ring on. And all we wanna do is just finger tight these, just like that. We don't wanna go Gorilla Grip on these things. Finger tight. Next thing we're gonna do is let's get these guys in the water bath. We're gonna lower this down into the water. Oh, and that worked out perfect. We want about an inch to two inches of water over these cans or these jars. We don't start our timer now. We want this water bath canner to come to a nice rolling boil and then we will start our timer at 15 minutes and process these green maters for 15 minutes. So give me 15 minutes and we'll show you what it looks like. Well, I'll bring you back once it gets to a rolling boil and then we'll rock on. All right, we are at a good rolling bowl. See you in 15 minutes. All right, our 15 minutes is up. Let's go on and get these quart jars out of the water bath canner. Oh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. Here are our pickled green maters. I'm here to tell you, that's what we're working with. Well, there you have it. Some spicy pickled green maters. I'm here to tell you, I'm all about some green maters. I love them fried and, and I even love them more pickled. And it's an easy way to preserve uh, your green maters towards the end of the, the growing season. And I, again, our season has ended over here. So that's what I wanted to share with you and y'all today. Lord of mercy. Y'all need to give it a try. Let us know uh, how you liked it. And this recipe is just it's totally interchangeable. You can add, take out, you can add dill, you can put whatever you want in it just to see what you taste. So again, I hope everybody's having a show enough good Wednesday and I hope everybody's being safe amid this crisis we still have going on. If y'all like this video, go on and give it a thumbs up to help. If you haven't subscribed to the Homeless Sticks channel, Lord of mercy, y'all need to come on over here and give old man a look. Cause I'm always doing stuff. With that being said, you know it's coming down. Reference showing off, always gonna say it. Don't let nobody do your shine. And I mean nobody. You showing off, get your shine on, be you. Do you some pickled green maters. And Dan will see you and y'all in the next video.